Hello mga kaleki, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is your friend, Leki Louie. Today, my task is to test the steering gear safety devices. But before we start, and if you are not just subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button and kindly hit the notification bell. So in this video, I will share how to test the steering gear safety devices as part of our electrical routine maintenance and to make sure that everything is working in good order and keeps the safety operation of our steering gear system. The steering gear here in my current vessel is composed of one hydraulic rotary vane actuator mounted directly on the rudder stock. It is driven by two hydraulic pump units which deliver enough oil pressure for the rudder movement. These two pumps may be operated together or separately. When vessel is underway or cruising at sea, single pump is normally in operation and the other pump is acting as a standby pump. We can discuss further more about steering gear operation next time and today we will just focus on how to test the steering gear safety devices. The failure alarm of steering gear system are as follows. Main power failure, control power failure, pace power failure, overload, low oil level, hydraulic lock alarm, clog oil filter, and high temperature alarm. We will test all of these safety alarms so please watch until the end of this video. The steering gear system has remote alarm panel located inside the engine control room. And in here, we can monitor the exact failure alarm in our steering gear system. The control fail failure activates when we put the selector knob to position 2 or stop. The control is now transferred from bridge to local position and the failure alarm will start the standby pump. Kaleki, before we proceed, I will first show you inside the main control panel of steering gear. We have set of fuses, control transformer, pace failure relay, control relays, contactors and overload relay for motor protection, terminal blocks, Interface card for alarm unit, current transformer for ampere monitoring, contactor for control voltage, lamp indicator and knob switch, and the main supply breaker. The overload alarm protects the main electric motor for high current by means of thermal overload relay. To test this alarm, we just need to push the red test button and the yellow indication means that the thermal overload trips. So you can check it by use of multimeter. Since the overload trips and open the control circuits, you can now measure the 24 volts in normally closed position or terminal number 95 and 96. And to reset this alarm, simply press the reset blue button. Inside the control panel, we have also list of fuses for each electrical components. For phase failure alarm, we have fuse number F17, 18, and 19. The pace failure alarm activated when any one of the three pace supply 
pills or if the 440 volts become very low. This alarm protects the electric motor for single pacing by means of phase failure relay. To test this alarm, we just need to remove the fuse for phase failure relay. The main power failure alarm activates when the 440 volts main supply failed. To test this alarm, we just cut off the power supply by switching off the main power breaker or the main supply breaker. To test the control power failure alarm, simply remove any of fuse F13 or F14. And these fuses give supply voltage to the control transformer. So we have separate 440 volts main power control failure and the other one is the control power failure. The oil tank has low level monitoring alarm. By means of magnetic float switch, if the oil level become low, the float switch will trigger the close contact to open position which results to low level alarm activation. To test this alarm, we need to disconnect the connector plug of level switch and the open contact will activate the low level alarm. Another way to test this low level alarm is to pull out the level switch from the tank. This is the most precise test method because the magnetic float switch will trigger the alarm.
we will now test the high oil temperature alarm and the last alarm will be the hydraulic lock so that I can explain the principle of hydraulic lock alarm later. The high oil temperature alarm activates when the oil temperature is above the normal value. To test this alarm, we can simply disconnect the connector plug of, temp of temperature sensor or we can also remove the temperature sensor and apply heat or submerge it into temperature calibrator. The oil tank has inline filter which protect the pump and maintain the oil free from any sediments. If the filter become dirty and the oil flow is restricted, it will create a small pressure inside the filter chamber which trigger the pressure transmitter and activate the filter clog alarm. To test this alarm, we can easily disconnect the power plug and wait for the filter clog alarm. Hydraulic lock alarm If the control is on the bridge or in remote position and has no any other rudder command from bridge steering control but it is moved 5 degrees either port side or starboard side due to the malfunction of directional valve, then the hydraulic lock alarm will activate. To test this alarm, first the steering control selector switch should be on remote position. Then while the pump is running, manually operate the hydraulic valve block using the handle. If the rudder reach the 5 degrees movement either port side or starboard side, the hydraulic lock alarm will activate. This alarm normally happens if the directional valve fails due to the mechanical fault. This alarm also helps to monitor if someone is operating the steering gear in local side without informing the bridge duty officer. So mga kaleki, we are now finished testing all the safety alarms of our steering gear system. Since we have two pumps, you just need to repeat all this test procedure to the standby pump. And if you have any question or suggestion, please write it in the comment section and it will be highly appreciated. Please do not forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Please share this video and thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. So once again, this is your friend, Lucky Louie. Thank you for watching, mga kaleki.